this idea, this doctrine, that believes all government to be corrupt, to be to be bad, to be wrong. Says that earth, that man on earth will not come into the ideal state until there are no government. It's being sold to the people all the time. They're not saying, will you become an anarchist? But they're, but they're feeding you with influences that are making you become anarchists. Children think it's wrong for them to accept authority in their parents. They think authority is, is, is mean, it's bad. Not being nice to me. Go, go to the leaves off the grass. Go cut the grass. Are you asking me or telling me? Do I have to do it now or can I do it later? They've got to have some say so in the matter. This can't go and do it. Got to have some words with you. Say, no, I want to go now. Stop. Because it looks bad out there. That's your opinion. Now, who's that talking to me? That's God or my God. That's the instrument of faith talking to me. I didn't raise my child to talk to me that way. I didn't ask the society for that kind of child. Satan gave us those children. They'll tell you, are you following Wall of the Mormon? You say, yes. We've had enough leaders. That's what, that's what's wrong with us now, leaders. We don't need any leaders. So they invite you to become Magog, Magog. Join the headless order. Those that don't believe in having any head. So Satan is planning for the path of their past. Oh, mister, this is 1986. All those 1987. This is not the 60s anymore. We are not oppressed. You're more oppressed now than you were in the 60s. Your future is bleak, more bleak now than it was in the 60s. We have less dignity as communities now than we had in the 60s. We have less respect as people in America and in the world. We have less now than we had in the 60s. In the 60s, there were three African nations admiring us from Africa. China was admiring us from China. I've been in those places recently. They don't admire us anymore. They don't admire us anymore because we are leaderless. The media makes leaders for us who are nothing but jam. And we are too afraid and too weak. It's afraid that we're going to lose air for security. It's afraid we're going to lose patronage benefits. Yes, I know it. I know the state. Too afraid to bring the wrath of Pharaoh. If you believe in Allah, if you're a true Muslim, you don't fear man. You don't fear people. You fear Allah. And when it comes to making the right decision, you make the decision that pleases Allah, not the decision that makes you look good or keeps you in the favor of sorrow or the oppressive thoughts.
Now, in concluding this, let me bring to mind another expression in religion that is very common, son of man. Satan's target is the son of man. He's aiming at the, the son of man. He wants to destroy the son of man. If he can't destroy him, at least he wants to make him of no consequence. He wants to crucify him. Power of his forces. Arrest him. Huh? Arrest his energy. Arrest his forces and throw it. If he can't kill him outright. Huh? Yes! The son of man. The son of man. What is the sign of the solar system? The ball. The head. The leader. The leader. The nucleus of the government. We call the solar system. Huh? That's what the sun is. It's the nucleus. So the government we call the solar system. We want to destroy your nucleus. For your government. For your system. He wants to destroy the son of man in you. He wants to rob you of your rightful, rightful possession. The government of the individual. Crazy preacher, crazy man. Huh? 